Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I want to make a quick video. I've been getting this request a lot lately, and that is how to quickly debug or look for errors with a function, or let's say you're integrating with Zapier or some external software, how to easily understand what's happening in your CRM. For example, if a new lead is coming in or something is coming in from online, sometimes it's hard to find it. And sometimes Zoho search is a little slow. So I have some little tips and tricks to find things quickly. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you guys and check out our inner circle. It's growing really fast. Essentially what it is, is it's a one-stop shop, one-time fee to get all kinds of content from us. Our top partners, our top extension, our favorite apps, and my favorite. Over the last 10 years, we've been building out a database of how to implement desk, how to implement CRM, how to do data imports properly. And so, all of that is given to you for one fee. So I'd encourage you to check it out. I also have exclusive YouTube videos coming out there. And as always, enjoy the video and see you in there. All right. So let's get into it. So where I am is in the back of the CRM. So you're gonna hit settings in your CRM. So let's walk through a couple scenarios. Scenario one, let's say you've created a zap or a flow or some type of integration that sends a lead, a contact, a task, whatever into the CRM. You wanna quickly be able to find that lead to see if everything came in properly, if it was all filled out properly, etc. Obviously you can search and try to find that lead. Now, the trouble with that is sometimes Zoho search will be a bit slow. It might have entered the lead in the back end of the database, but you can't actually search it yet. So now you get all upset, like, oh, it didn't work, etc., and you get a bit lost. What I always do is look at the audit log. So the audit log is a feature that not a lot of people use, but it's really handy. So you can come back here in settings and under data administration, you're gonna click on audit log. When you click on that, you can see that everything that has happened in the last second or minute or whatever is here. So what you can do is when that deal comes in, whether you can search it or not, it's going to show here. Now you can get even more specific. You can click here and you could say, what do you wanna search? Setup is like customizing fields, layouts. Is it a report? Is it a dashboard? Or for example, in this case, what happened with clients? Now you can go to the next piece and you could filter by user. Then you could go to the next piece and put add or update it. And so you could play around with that, but probably the most important thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is the time and the entity. If you have a CRM where a lot's going on, you're gonna to wanna to fiddle with the time and you're gonna to wanna to fiddle with the entity so that you can drill down to the record you wanna see. Now, once you find that record, you can click on the blue it'll actually open up that record. So whether it's a lead or a contact or a deal or whatever, it'll be in the blue. So this is super handy. It's also just good to see what people are doing. If someone's doing something weird or whatever, you can see it. So your users have no choice. As things happen, either through code or by a user, it will automatically be logged here. So that's number one. I'm gonna go back to settings. Let's say you have a function, maybe a deluge function that's running and you're like, why isn't that working? Oh, it's not showing anything relevant, what's happening? So you can actually check that by hitting settings, functions. And when you get back here, you can actually hit failures. So this will show all of the failures that have occurred and it'll give you a reason why it occurred, right? So we've had some today and we can look into that, right? And so you can see this one happened at 1.43 p.m. in valid JSON format. So if you're a developer, you should know what this is. You can toggle by Java, Node.js or Deluge. Majority of the time it's Deluge and you can rerun it. So if you go into that function and fix it, you can actually rerun it here and it'll catch up. Now you can rerun on mass too. Right? This is a really handy feature. Basically, Zoho captures all the errors and it's not necessarily a, a new feature. It's been out for a few years, but this is something not a lot of people know about. Right? So definitely come back here. The other thing you can check, just so you know, there is a dashboard showing you all the functions that are running, how successful or not they are. And so I would encourage you to come back here whenever you can. You can look at today, you can look at yesterday, and this is probably the second place I would say a lot of people spend time in. Now the last is kind of like damage control. Let's say someone deletes a record and you're like, oh my goodness, it's gone, right? There is a recycle bin. So if you click that, you'll see here, this is all the stuff that has been deleted, for example, today, and you can restore it. So if anyone deletes anything, let's say someone deletes it and they shouldn't be, you can restore it just by clicking here. 
hit restore, it'll create that record again. It will also uh, keep it for 60 days and you can empty it if you want to get rid of everything. Once you empty it, it's gone. You cannot retrieve it. But this is also another area. This is more from a compliance or data perspective, less so than a code error perspective. But this is really good to know as well. So in summary, if you're trying to see if an integration works, you're trying to find records really quickly, Audit Log's a great tool for that. If something's broken or a function isn't running, the functions under development space and then failures is really good for that. And Recycle Bin is really good for data retention and just compliance. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe below. And we'll see you in the next one.